Welcome to Gun News and Reviews. Today we're going to get an early look at a new product from Remington. It's not a new gun per se, it's the 870, but it's an upgraded version of the 870, and it's called the Fieldmaster. It's meant to be a higher quality gun than the presumably discontinued Express. This version of the 870 is called the Fieldmaster. It's not the first time Remington has used that name. The old 572 Pump Action 22 shared that name. Of course, you know about the Wingmaster. You might know about the 513 Matchmaster. We reviewed that one. Both the Model 81 and the Model 742 were called the Woods Master, and the 510 was the Target Master. So we're glad to see that tradition continue. Looking here at the top of the receiver, you can see that it's already been drilled and tapped to accommodate mounts. That's nice, especially if you like a longer sight radius with a slug gun. But overall, what this is, as said before and I'll say again, is just a really nice version of the 870. It is definitely better than any of the Express models that I've ever been familiar with. And it does more remind me of Wingmaster type quality. So I'm going to have to give it to them on that. Very nice looking uh, firearm all the way around. Looking at it from the back going forward, you can see this is uh, American Walnut. It is manufactured uh, at Remington's Lexington plant. I had some things to say about some of the newer production after Remington reopened last year and some things I saw on store shelves which did not look like quality. We covered that in a video and uh, a lot of people made comments about it. Death of Remington, how could they make something like this? But what it did was, uh, at least in the case of Remington, got their attention and they reached out to me. Now, Remington had a decision to make in terms of coming back as Rem Arms under new ownership uh, with some of the same management. I spoke to Ken Darcy, who's the CEO at Rem Arms, and Ken indicated that the advent of this version of the 870, which is the Fieldmaster, was because the Express was killing them. In other words, they were in a situation where they were trying to compete with Mossberg and some other import shotguns, which were going for $250, $350 a piece. And they weren't able to produce that with their cost structure and especially what they were going through the last few years. So they're not gonna try. They're gonna try to make the 870 more like the 870 of old and more specifically with the kind of quality you would have expected from the Wingmaster. So let's take a look at this. Here she is, the Remington 870 Fieldmaster 28 inch. It comes with three chokes. This particular one is 12 gauge. It's been a while since I've opened a new Remington box. So upon doing so, I must say I was very pleased with what I saw right off the bat. Just a really nice, richer, darker walnut than you've seen in the past. I like that. In addition, the checkering is done much nicer than anything I've seen out of Remington for a long time. Uh, and the finish is just nice and even. You can tell that it's something that's going to be durable uh, and resist uh, rust and things like that. They did come out with a new uh, choke removal tool, as you can see. And uh, as I said, it comes with three chokes. One of them is already installed in the barrel. So that's nice and what you'd expect. A lot of folks been waiting patiently for a long time for Remington to get back to standing for quality. They've kind of lost their way over the years. And uh, you're looking right here at a Remington 870 Express from the early 90s. And this is the new Fieldmaster. And we want Remington to be at least as good as they used to be. I've been told by their CEO that they're aiming higher than that. Overall, though, if they produce firearms that look and function like this one is set up, I think they're going to have some success coming down the road. American Gun Company. Looking again here at the checkering, and that's just what technology can do, guys, uh, with the laser 
tools that they use these days. It's just a more defined uh, and sharper. It does what it's supposed to, which is give you something to grip. And obviously, it's got some cosmetic appeal as well. But taking some really good close-ups comparing old versus new, forget the finish for a second, and look at the metal finishing. In other words, you can see how this was machined back in, I believe this one's from 1993. And again, forgetting about the scratches and those things, and you can just see uh, the level of smoothness that was achieved on that particular receiver, and you can look at how they're doing it now. And I'm very impressed with that. And I'm comparing that favorably to stuff I looked at on the shelves as recently as two or three months ago. So that's impressive. Looking at this trigger guard, it is made of polymer or plastic. I know some guys don't like that. I think that it should be. That's the first part that's typically going to break. It's unchanged from the old version. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the action. We're looking at a 30-year-old action. This is the 870 Express. And the weight of the gun itself does not forward the slide. You have to give it a jerk with the hand. Now you're looking at the 870 Fieldmaster. Brand new, hasn't been worked in or anything. Watch. It's amazing. Biggest reason for that improvement on the new version, they're doing what's called tumbling the action bars which is some extra machining, which is going to make them run a lot more smoothly. I also noticed a difference in the little button you press to release the slide, and it's smaller on the old 870 than it is on the Fieldmaster. So that's interesting. Also, you're looking here at the extraction claw on the older version of the Express. This is the new extraction claw. And last thing I noticed where the barrel joins the receiver, it's kind of tapered on the new version. If you look at this older barrel, it's kind of chamfered. So there's a little bit of an edge. And I got to admit, I don't know if that has anything to do with the new version or if that's just something they started doing a few years ago. What's great about this being an 870 is that the accessories, aftermarket stuff, Barrels, so many aspects of this are already available. They didn't redesign the wheel here. What they did was decide they were going to make it at a, a much higher quality standard. So far, so good. For more reviews like this, plus gun news in five minutes, please like and subscribe.